You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Extreme Weight Loss After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Extreme Weight Loss After Show. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I was like, what's that? Brian pumps it up in order, in honor of Bruce from last week. Let's get freaking pumped. Let's get freaking pumped. And we are so pumped once again to tune in to another episode of Extreme Weight Loss, Season 4, Episode 5, with our girl, Melissa. This was... This was an intense episode. So mm-hmm. much going on. Um, a lot of drama as always. And I dedicate this episode to Heidi because Heidi was killing it. This is her absolute first time leading the entire show. And I was really impressed. Absolutely. Heidi did her thing this week. She definitely did. Mm-hmm. Yep, absolutely. So we have so many things to talk about. I mean, I just want to go ahead and just dive right in. I mean, right from the start, I just absolutely fell in love with Melissa like I do every week with every single person that comes on the show. But uh, her story was just really in endearing. And I love when you hear from moms. And I think that's why from the very beginning, her and Heidi were just like in sync. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I I loved um, that Heidi took reins today. And for those of you that haven't tuned in before, um, I'm Jackie Powell. And we're so excited to see you guys. I'm so excited to even announce who I was. Of course, Morgan Martin and Jackie Powell. We have to tell you guys our (laughs) names because, but if you haven't watched us, make sure you watch us every week. We love covering um, extreme weight loss. And this episode was really exciting because, I mean, Heidi took the reins. What the heck? And she did really awesome. And I love this episode because... We saw a different side of not only Heidi, we saw a different side of Chris, um, and it was it was really exciting. Yeah, I mean, let's just dive right in even to Melissa's story. I mean, she's a mom, and she also, she has a son, but then also an adopted son, but her big thing, of course, with everybody, there's always some reason for how they get to this point, and hers was actually the, her um, husband actually committing suicide, which... I mean, obviously, even just hearing all of that, and it was really traumatic. Yeah, it was really emotional. I think for this episode, we really got a more serious um, thing. Before we had seen in the past, it's, you know, people making fun of them or an issue of somebody stepping out. And this is the same issue, but I think the difference about this one, um, it went really deeper. And, um, yeah, it was really serious. But I I love that she definitely didn't shy away from the, the the real situation and that she was real with it to make a difference for other people that are going through because we know there are so many people that you know have served for our country and they go through these things and yeah. i don't think we do people talk about it enough yeah so i was i was glad that she was very open about it and she brought the whole thing up yeah and i think that's one of the things i mean even just scrolling through twitter and facebook there were so many people that were actually really um, excited about the fact that you know that this issue is being brought up because he did have post-traumatic um, stress and dis- disorder and I think what was great is that because she was so open and honest about it it allowed a lot of people on like the Twitter sites and on Facebook to really comment and say hey this is great mm-hmm. that this is coming into the forefront and then even from that from you know, him going through this and committing suicide, it also got kind of passed down to their adopted son, Cody, as well, which is, I'm sure, even more difficult because now she has to see this, you know, face-to-face all over again. I didn't know, I I personally didn't know that it could be passed down like that. So that was an eye-opener for me. Not only are the fathers going through this, but 
it could be possibly passed down to the kids. So that was an eye opener for me. I had no idea that that was possible. Yeah, and then I was just so, I mean, once we obviously got to know her and love her like we always do, and then comes in Heidi. Yeah. <laughs> and she, I mean, it was amazing because the first time the two of them met, Melissa actually rides her lawnmower <laughs> to go pick up the mail. And I was just like, that's crazy. I thought it was, I mean, it is really crazy. I think it's kind of cool that she had a lawnmower and that yeah. she could do that to the mailbox but yeah I thought that was really funny and that Heidi kind of called her out like are you really riding your lawnmower to yeah. the to get the mail <laughs> but I mean that's the kind of things people do I guess yeah I mean and what did you think about just them coming together I mean I've just automatically felt like this instant bond between mm -hmm. two mothers and then of course they also share in common you know having having death to someone really close to them too. So I think immediately mm -hmm. they were just all over each other and really inspirational to one one another. You saw some soft sides of Heidi too. Yeah, I, I thought that was great because um, right when Heidi had met her and told her, we choose you, Heidi automatically was like, okay, this is gonna be your first challenge. Yeah. What's something that you need to do to make a first step to um, get over and you know, get past what you're going through. And the first thing she made her do, or the first thing that Melissa said was like, you know what, I boxed up all of Mike's stuff and I haven't gone through it. Yeah. And she said she didn't want to do it, but Heidi was like, let's do it, that'll be your first step. So um, like you said, I really felt a bond between them because she immediately said, Heidi said, hey, you know, my dad passed away, I don't know if you know, but I still have a box of things from him that I haven't opened up yet. And that's when we first really saw the bond that they just can really relate to each other. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool that um, Heidi went right in on the first day and yes. was like, okay, let's make the first step, so. Yeah, I thought that was really good. And I mean, even before we get into the next phase, I definitely want to encourage all of you guys to tune into AfterBuzz TV on iTunes, like us, comment, tell your friends, give us five stars if you want to keep on listening. And of course, us bringing you lots of great, amazing after shows from so many other shows. And of course, Extreme Weight Loss, because that's what we love. And uh, but just getting back, I mean, boot camp is always the it's the first true test and I mean and so going into boot camp she was 301 pounds mm -hmm. and it just broke my heart because as she got on the scale before they actually shipped her off you know she when she realized that she had gotten over 300 pounds she looked to her boys and she was just like she looked at herself and she just said you know what I'm so sorry yeah that was really emotional part for me too because you could tell she wasn't doing it for herself she was looking at her boys like I, I'm doing this for you, so I agree with you. That was really touchy part. Yeah, and you could tell it was hard for her to go, but once she got to boot camp, they set her a goal of 76 pounds to lose in the first three months, which, you know, the first three months is always the the toughest. And mm -hmm. I think immediately once she got there, you could see she was excited up until she got news that Cody wasn't doing well. And that's, I think that's always going to be, as a mom, mm -hmm. like you can push through a lot, but when your kids are just like needing you, that has to be really hard to fight through. And not only that, I think just already losing her husband to those symptoms and then hearing that her son's not doing well, I, that my mind wouldn't be into doing a workout. I would be... I want to go home too. Yeah. Um, but the fact that she did, she was very triumphant. Like it was a struggle getting through the workout as we saw. She was screaming and rolling over. But I mean, I can totally sympathize with that because all the things that she's gone through and knowing that your son's not doing well, I wouldn't want to do a workout either. I'd be yeah. like, I need to be home right now. But what do you think? Because Heidi kind of called, Heidi was kind of calling her bluff a little bit. She was like, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if you're faking it so that we have sympathy for you, especially Chris. Because Chris was a little sympathetic during her whole trial, which was a little odd for Chris um, in comparison. But Heidi yeah. kind of thought that maybe she was just kind of over exaggerating so that there's sympathy. What do mm -hmm. you think? Like, what did it come across to you? I. For me, it came across like this, it was hard for her and she didn't want to do it. Yeah. For me, I, I totally agreed with Heidi. It might have been kind of she was just reacting and she just wanted to kind of quit. I totally thought that, that yeah, 
Yeah, I don't want to sugarcoat it. I definitely think that it got a little hard and she didn't want to finish it. So she started flailing and crying, but she did finish the workout. Yes, she did. But after the workout, we saw the result of that, the true color. She did want to quit because she ultimately said after the first workout, which never's happened before, um, that she was like, I want to go back home. So I think that was, she definitely showed her true colors. Yeah. But I think the more surprising person was not that she wanted to quit, because I mean, we, I can't even imagine how hard it is, the things that they put them through. Mm -hmm. But Chris was kind of like, well, you know, if you want to go home, and Heidi was on the other side of that door, like, absolutely not. Yeah. Like, that is bull. She cannot go home. Yeah. She will fail if she goes home. That and that was like one of the first times that like we really see Chris and Heidi. Chris first Heidi like going at it. What do you think? Like who do you think whose side do you go with? Honestly, when I watched this episode, I was like, Who is this man? Is this Chris Powell? I was I've never seen this side of Chris. I was just I thought it was strange that he was very passive with her and that he was so quick to be like, Okay, well if you wanna go home, you wanna go home. I was just I, I didn't understand. Maybe it's because it, it wasn't in his control. I, I, I'm not sure, but I definitely thought that um, Heidi was right mm -hmm. about making her stay. And Chris was definitely wrong. Like, you've seen in the past, Chris is the first one to really know what, he, what the people need. And I felt like he just didn't know it with Melissa. He was just like, yeah, if you want to go home, go home. I was like, what, Chris? Are you kidding? I was really shocked about his reaction. You know what? I think, too, I think that because Chris and Heidi kind of swapped roles a little bit with this, and usually, I mean, don't get me wrong, Heidi, even when she's slightly behind the scenes, which I don't think she's ever really behind the scenes, she's, yeah. she's still tough, but she still has, like, that sensitive side that she pulls out a little more. I think mm -hmm. just being a woman and being a mother and so I wonder if Chris was like okay if I'm in this position like what would Heidi do but I think he forgot that Heidi's still a bulldog and will not take no for an answer but I love your sensitivity Chris we, <laughs> we love you dearly but I really thought that was um interesting to see just because we love Heidi and Chris and we love their relationship yeah. and I thought it was really cool to see them have a little dispute or differences and work it out on a relationship side, not fitness or about the show, but on a relationship side, I was glad that they overcame their little their little dispute there. Yeah. yeah. And I think what what was great is and what I love about Chris and Heidi is that they're like, okay, obviously we know she is a mom. And we know that one of her biggest obstacles is going to be being away from them for so long. Mm -hmm. So it was like, let's not just let this be something that is going to keep being a stumbling block. Let's figure out how the heck to fix it. And yeah. so she was like, we can Skype them more often. We mm -hmm. can make sure we call. And they even let her travel back, you know, in spurts to be able to see them too. So it was like, you're going to still stay here. You're going to commit to what you need to do. And then on top of the fact that every time she left and came back, she was like skittier. Yeah, she looks really great. And speaking on what you just said, I love that quote that Heidi said, the more you want something, the more life will test you. Mm -hmm. I was just like, yes, I agree. It's so true. And it was, you know, Melissa had a lot that she was going through, and she wanted to lose weight, and the more life will test you. I really like that yeah. quote that she said. And I really felt like this this first phase, more than anything, Heidi, you know, and she even mentioned it, she's like, I have to not only help Melissa prove herself, but she was like, I kind of also got to prove to Chris that you yeah. know, I can do this. Yeah. And so I, I mean, I'm a little early in my predictions, but I have a feeling that we are going to be seeing a lot more of Heidi leading the pack in the upcoming season. I hope so. I think she did an awesome job. She did it flawlessly. She totally, well, let's just get back to Melissa first, but Heidi did a great job, and yeah. I, I want to see that happen as well. Yeah, she did. And so in phase one, you know, Melissa came in at 301 pounds. Mm -hmm. Her goal was to lose 76 pounds, and she exceeded that yeah. and actually hit 79 pounds. So she beat herself by three additional pounds, getting her down to 222. Yeah, she looked awesome, and she came out. They gave her a makeover, and she had this nice cute little haircut she was working that melissa <laughs> your hair 
I need the number of your hairstylist immediately. I'm from Ohio. I will fly there. Her <laughs> hair was flawless. Yeah, she looked awesome. It had little curls on the side with little... She looked, Melissa, you looked great. She was not playing around. Yeah. And you could just tell, like, her confidence mm -hmm. was there, and it was like, all right, I'm in it to win it mm -hmm. for the long haul. You definitely saw at that moment a totally different person than we had saw on that first day that she worked out. Her attitude was better. She was smiling. You saw the transformation already on that uh, phase. And then I love right before we go into phase two, the last thing that Chris says to Heidi, he says, you know what? You were right. Heidi said, what did you, what was that? What did you say again? And he was like, you're right. So I love it. You're right. We knew you were right, Heidi. Still love you, Chris, but. Yeah, she tried to get him to say it three times, and he was like, don't push it. Don't push your luck. So then we go into phase two, mm -hmm. and of course, we get to go to New Zealand, yes. which is awesome. Um, you know, her goal was to lose uh, 40 pounds, mm -hmm. which is another big steep. <laughs> yeah, it was, and it was really cool, too. Um, at that time in New Zealand, she told her that, because Melissa wanted to do that 10-mile run yeah. in honor of Mike, but Heidi said, instead of doing the, the run, how about do your own run? So Heidi kind of gave her the challenge of, instead of doing the run that she wanted to do before, let's do a run for Mike. Yeah. Miles for Mike. Miles for Mike. Yeah, I and love she was it. really excited about that. Yeah, but it was, I mean, it was hard. I mean, it was a 10 mile, 10 mile run. And I mean, even though she had come so far, you know, mm -hmm. obviously in her fitness, and you could tell in the first five, five miles, I mean, even Chris talked about it, that she was just on an emotional high. She was feeling it. She's like, this is great. And then that five mile marker hit and you could just see mm -hmm. how much pain she was in yeah. from like her joints and her hips and all these different things. And, but then people came and just really were just like rooting for her and cheering mm -hmm. for her and yelling out her name. I mean, I can't even imagine what that's like to have that much support from so many people. Yeah, everybody was coming out of their shop saying, you can do it. And then even Chris asked her, I believe it was at mile four, he was just like, what would Mike say? Or, you know, and she said, I believed he'd be proud of me today. Mm -hmm. And then you just saw the motivation in her eyes. She just like kept going. So it was really nice to see her finish the whole, 10 miles. This is a lot. Yeah. I can't even run like one mile. <laughs> I can't. We need to, <laughs> Melissa, we need your help. So if you can come help us run some miles, that would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, even in that, I think that, so of course we're, of course you can't help but be motivated by Melissa and watching her transformation. But then of course, as Heidi promised, this is when she actually goes through mm -hmm. her dad's stuff. And I mean, what was watching that like even for you? For me, I, it was really emotional. I mean, I personally, I've never lost anybody in my life, so I, I can't relate on that level of really understanding, but um, I thought it was just really cool that Heidi was vulnerable, because we see, we've seen Heidi in so many episodes where she's strong, and you know, she you know, she's almost guiding other people to help them make the transformation and yeah. make them not, you know, physically but mentally change. And in this episode, it was really cool. Melissa kind of, you know, mentored her in a way and was like, okay, it's your turn. And so I thought it was really cool to see one of the people that were supposed to transform help Heidi right. in that very moment. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think what's so great, and I think Heidi said it best, is that, you know, even her and Chris, their whole thing is to motivate other people, mm -hmm. but they can only do that if they are, you know, inspiring and motivating and changing even within themselves. And yeah. so we watch episode after episode of them changing and doing and all of these mm -hmm. things. But I think this was one of the first very visible times that we see how the lives of these people it's almost like how last week with Chris, how yeah. Chris and Bruce, like mm -hmm. Bruce changed Chris's life. I mean, he was going on and on about him. Yeah. I think that through this, I think that Melissa has changed Heidi's life by making her do this. No, yeah, absolutely. Just like you said, you know, last week when we talked to Chris, when he called in, Chris had explained that, you know, in that mi that moment when they were in court, he was just angry at Bruce's dad, yeah. but Bruce was forgiving and Chris had a change of heart. He was like, wow, I really need to learn more forgiveness. And just like you said, you know, Melissa was able to show Heidi like, all right, let's do this together and face what we don't want to face. So yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, it was it was incredible. I mean, going to New Zealand, and then they had to climb Sky Tower, which was 64 stories. And, I mean, <laughs> they were just saying that, like, on average, like, a good record time for that is about 30 minutes to an hour. And so Heidi was like, no, we're going to do it in 20. But they did it in... 12 minutes. Jeez. <laughs> and it looked hard. 64 flights of stairs... And then not even to mention, once they got to the top, tired. I mean, after 64 flight of stairs, I'm going to bed. But no, they bungee jumped. Poor Melissa. She was just like, I, I, I don't know if I can do this. She was almost like, I would rather go climb 64 more stairs yeah. than ever jump off a building again in life. I was getting anxiety just watching it. I was just like, I, I, no, don't do it. Don't do it. But then we've got Heidi, who comes down looking like Spider Woman, <laughs> like literally like cascading down ever so gracefully. So flawlessly, like Superwoman. Oh, Heidi, we love you so much. Yeah, she's amazing. So, but yeah, I mean, phase two was, I mean, she hit her goal right mm -hmm. on the target. She lost 40 pounds. So now we're on down from starting off at 301, and now we're down to 180 two pounds yeah and can we just say on this makeover she did her own makeover and she dyed her hair brown this time she did and i liked it i really liked it i felt like her hair kept changing and heidi's belly kept changing <laughs> so it was like her hair color is going to change heidi has a stomach doesn't have a stomach that's true yes as her hair has changed colors <laughs> heidi's stomach was changing sizes that was a good comparison there. I like good. that. Yeah. <laughs> so going into phase three, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we've got love in the air oh, for Miss yeah. Melissa. As she goes back home, not only does she start shedding some pounds, but she gains a boyfriend. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Kirk, right? Kirk. I yeah. Love Kirk. I was really excited for her, just like I was with Kathy when Kathy started dating. It's just, it's so awesome because for the longest time, these women, and especially for her, she lost her husband. And, you know, for the longest time, she's been hiding herself, eating, and not really dealing with things. And now she's becoming this new woman. She's building all this confidence. And then she finds a man. And it's just, it's like an ending of a fairy tale for me. So I was, I was really glad to see that she started dating. Yeah. And I think that... But just the trap of, of dating, just like with Mama Kathy, That's right. is, of course, you get in that lovey-dovey, mm -hmm. I got a boyfriend, and I'm sure you're eating all type of goodness and chilling and <laughs> all what comes with boyfriend life. And I think it kind of swayed her a little bit from her, like, narrow focus on hitting her goals. Yeah, but what I liked is when they did the weigh-in and she did not meet the goal. Mm -hmm. um, and she, she was just very honest. And she was like, yep, I messed up. I started dating. I fell short, but I'm ready. I'm ready to get back to it. So I, I like that she just kind of nipped it in the butt. And she was just like, okay, yeah, I fell short. <laughs> I've been dating. I've been eating. I've been comfortable. And she even said, she was like, I got cocky. But um, she was like, but today I'm ready, and I'm going to get back to it. So, Look, Melissa said, I got a man now, so I'm not, you know, I'm not <laughs> tripping over anything. I'll get back to this weight loss. And she absolutely did. I mean, she only lost five pounds in phase three for yeah. in that three months. So that's, you know, definitely the lowest that she, that she had hit. But she was still a candidate for the skin removal. Right, right. And to give her credit, you know, she... Lost, she met both of her goals before that. So, and she was looking amazing. So, I think even though she didn't meet her girl or her goal per se, I think she did very well. She didn't meet her physical goal, but she most definitely met her relationship yeah, goal. Yeah, she did. And kudos <laughs> to you, Melissa, for doing that. Right? <laughs> but no, even, I mean, I mean, Again, she's a mom, and so watching her even go through the skin removal and, of course, having her sons right there, and mm -hmm. poor Cody was just so worried about her, yeah. you know, not coming back after the surgery, and that's just, it's just so hard to see. Yeah, that was sad for me because, I mean, part of him having the disorder or the P, I'm sorry, what it, the PTSD. Thank you. The PTSD was because, you know, he lost his father. And I can only imagine was, like, the fear that was going through him, just his mom about to go into this surgery. I mean, that's really scary. Even my mom, like I told you before, she had a gastric bypass. And that was I was nervous for her. Who knows how surgery can go. So, yeah, um, yeah but I was... That was the touching part when he said that. He was like, I'm nervous she's not going to come back. Yeah. But Heidi was so supportive. She went over there and gave him a big hug. And 
but yeah, that that was that must have been really hard for him. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I think throughout this whole transformation, I mean, I think that and again, all she kept saying was she was like, not only is she doing this to, you know, help her get through all the loss and things that she dealt with with her husband, but she wants to prove to her kids that yeah. you got to keep going. Mm -hmm. We can get through this, and she wanted to be motivation for them and I think for sure she absolutely was and I mean even Eli who's like you know when you have the teenager that's like yeah sure mom but yeah. it just meant the world to her when he was just like you know you're pretty awesome actually yeah. and we even saw too in the episode they were working out together I thought that was really awesome that he was helping her and maybe she was helping him too yeah. and they were working out together but yeah she definitely is a big role model for both of them just yeah. like keep going and she you know, at first she wanted to quit, but at the end she went through, she stuck through the whole thing, and she looked awesome. And I could only imagine how that influenced her boys. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we get to my favorite part. It's still my favorite part every every single time is, of course, phase four coming to an end and the yeah. big reveal of what Melissa actually looks like. And she, once again, we got another hair <laughs> yeah. change. Melissa, you're rocking the hair change, but she looks fabulous. Yeah, she looks really good. Honestly, to me, she didn't even, she looked like a completely different person. Mm -hmm. She, I, I, she was unrecognizable for me. I felt like she looked completely different. And she, she looked awesome. And I love that Kirk was there, front row. And she was like, where's Chris at? Chris was there too. And uh, yeah, her transformation was awesome she looked amazing yeah. she reminded me of my mom a little bit uh, yeah and I think too I think again we got to give kudos to Heidi because I mean mm -hmm. from top to bottom I mean she ran this episode even to the finale and just taking control of everything and it was kind of cool seeing Chris like just sitting yeah. in the audience <laughs> and like looking at proud wifey I thought it was a little strange but I <laughs> like I totally agree with you I think Heidi did it flawlessly it's her first time doing a transformation and she did it so eff like not effortless effortlessly but it seemed like it was for her she she did everything flawlessly and she did a great job and I'm with you. I want to see her more in season uh, next season, kind of taking the reins with the woman, maybe or maybe even a man. Yeah, who well, knows? Awesome. That would be actually a really cool dynamic to mm -hmm. see Heidi. It's like one thing with a woman, but I think you know, Heidi's no mess around. Mm -mm. No, the bulldog. She is the <laughs> bulldog, as Josh Morton would say. We yeah. gotta love Josh. But I mean, again, big reveal. I mean, she went from 301 pounds mm -hmm. to ending at 152 pounds. She lost a total of 142 pounds. She almost pretty much almost lost half of herself. Yeah, she literally. Mm -hmm. She looked great. Way to go, Melissa. You looked awesome. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She was great. I mean, she she lost so much weight. Yeah. Everybody was just beaming in the audience. I don't think Heidi could have been any happier with her first transformation ever in extreme weight loss. Great job, Heidi. First transformation down. Next season, maybe more. More to come. More to come. I'm really excited. See more. So, of course, now we need to go into some good old predictions. predictions. We've got some awesome stuff coming up for next week. Yeah, next week we have a chef. And, and now, your After Buzz TV predictions. Gotta wait for that. <laughs> you know, it always makes me cheerful. Anyway, so the chef next week, he, he cooks food. And I think that's probably the worst thing. I know, I mean, I'm... I've waitressed before, and I know waitressing, you deal with food all day. That's all you want to eat. So being a chef, that has to be challenging yeah. if you're trying to lose weight. So he's a chef, and I think he likes UFC, right? Mm -hmm. So we have some really big names in the ring that he, we're going to have on next episode as well. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen next I, There's going to be a lot of fighting. I can, <laughs> I can see that. Fighting, wrestling, all of the above. But... As always, he seems like such a determined a determined person, but I'm really interested to see, like, there's always somebody's breaking point. Mm -hmm. Like, somebody always has that breaking point that they have to push through. So I want to see what that's going to be like for him. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited. I like UFC. Maybe we'll see him in the rink. Maybe we'll see Chris and Heidi in the rink. What do you think? 
That, I I think Heidi will kill Chris in the ring. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Maybe, hopefully she's pregnant at that period of time so that she just could stay on the sidelines. But maybe, I would love to see Chris do some UFC moves for sure. And what do you think about Melissa? What are your predictions for Melissa? Where do you think Melissa is now? What's she going to do? I think Melissa is going to continue in a relationship. That's what I'm hoping for. Yes, um, Kirk. I, I, I think she's going to keep going. I think she has a really good support system. And her motivation the whole time have been her sons. They're going to be right there motivating for her, motivating her. So I believe that she's going to keep going, losing weight, and maybe get married. Hey. I don't know. I believe it. I mean, her confidence is up. She's looking fabulous. Mm -hmm. She's going to keep changing her hair every <laughs> month. So, I mean, she's reinventing herself continuously. Yeah. She's got Kirk. Kids are good, happy. I think the sky's the limit for Melissa. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to see what, where she goes. Absolutely. So hopefully you guys tune in and listen to us next week as we, of course, tune into more extreme weight loss. I'm your host, Morgan Martin. You can catch me at on Twitter and on Instagram at ms underscore Morgan Martin. And I'm Jackie Powell. You can find me on Instagram at Jackie underscore P-O-W or on Twitter at Jackie with two E's underscore P-O-W. I love it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Check us in next week. See you guys next time. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.